Hey everyone, so in the previous video we learned how to set up a relationship between two custom post types. One which was team members and one which was locations. We created a team member and that team member was associated with a location which is called Sydney and then the location is there and if we click into Sydney you'll see the, the information in there which was then being displayed on the actual team members page. So what if the location had some custom fields associated with it? Can we display those custom fields on the team members page? Well, let's try it out. First thing we can do is go to custom fields and then let's just create a new field group. We'll call it location information. And inside there, we'll just do a field and we'll call it address. And that will be where you know you can type the address of the location. So then we can link this field group with a page, uh, what are we looking for? Page type? No, we're looking for post uh, custom post type. Okay, there we go. And we link it to the location custom post type. Click on publish and then go to locations. Click into Sydney, for example, and edit the post. And you'll see the address is there now. So I'm just going to do 10 test road Sydney. I'll update it. Now let's go back into our code into our single team page which was the team member page and remember we were linking up the locations through the relationship field. Let's see if we can actually just do PHP the field address and hopefully this will actually echo out the address of that specific location. So let's go to team members and go to view and you'll notice it's not actually coming up. And the reason why is because advanced custom fields has a little feature that we need to add into this loop to be able to grab that data. It's called setup post data. Essentially, it's going to be overriding the post object of this specific page, which is the single team page, and then grab the data out of the actual loop using the post object and overriding the post object. Okay, so let me explain it. The we've, we've got the location relationship data and we've put it in the variable called lo locations and then we're doing a for each loop. So for each locations as location, but instead of calling it location, we call it post. And that is actually going to override the, the variable that's kind of automatically set up when the page loads called post as well. And we also then want to do something within this loop, PHP setup post data and then feed the post variable into there and that will make it possible to grab the data out of each loop and grab the data of that post and be able to use the native WordPress functionality for example so let's take this out so now the page is going to be just blank again we could do PHP echo the underscore title. So that is the like the function in WordPress that just echoes out the title. You would never have been able to do that if you didn't do this. So let's take that, this away and take and make it location again and then hit refresh. And it's actually going to use the post data or the post object that's initially loaded, which is this actual page. But we're overriding the post object and bringing the post data in uh, and now we can actually use it for that specific post. And then what we can do is we can do PHP the field address. And that will allow us to automatically use the field function with ACF inside the relationship as well. So let's refresh it. There you go. So now you can basically use every aspect of that specific post or related post inside, the, inside a loop. So that's very, very powerful. So now you can actually include custom fields within that. The last thing you want to do is you want to reset the post object. The reason why is because if, if I go out of this for each loop and I do PHP echo the title, so we're not in a loop anymore, we'll refresh it. You'll see it still says Sydney. What if we want to mention the title of the page again? We need to reset the loop so then we can go back to using the standard original post object, which is WP underscore reset underscore post data. And then now if we refresh and save, you should notice that the title that gets echoed out is the title of the page once again. There we go. 
Okay, so I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video.